What if I told you you could get consistent leads and sales and it's just as easy as turning on a faucet? Well, welcome to paid search advertising. And paid search advertising is so great because it's so scalable. When you find something that works and you're spending, let's say a few hundred dollars a, work, uh, a, few hundred dollars a month in ads, well, if you want to 10X that, you can just 10X the spend. And with paid search, it's very easy to scale. Whereas with something like Facebook ads or YouTube ads, it can be a little more difficult to 10X the number of leads you're getting. But with paid search, the beautiful thing is, if you've got a $10 a day budget and you're getting clients and making money at $10 a day, you can 10X that budget, depending on your market, of course, to $100 a day or even more, um, and that's going to 10x the number of leads you're getting. So paid search is my favorite sort of advertising for the types of businesses that offer something that people are looking for right now. They need it right now. So let's say you're an emergency plumber. They need you right now. Let's say you are uh, uh, own a limo company um, and you do airport transportation. Okay, those are people looking for things right now and that's where paid search works really well. Now, let's say you're a limo company that does wine tours. Well, paid search works well for that too, but you could also use something like Facebook ads because what if the person hasn't had the idea yet of doing a wine tour? Well, you can give them the idea with a Facebook ad. And so paid search, you you always want as a part of your overall strategy and depending on your industry, Facebook ads might work better for some, paid search might work better for others, uh, but usually a combination is what works best. And so really, we're trying to do uh, really three things. Uh, number one is we're trying to show our ads to the right audience, right? So we want to show our ads to the right people, the people that are looking for exactly what we offer, exactly where we offer it. Because we don't want to be spending money on, on impressions and clicks for someone that isn't looking for exactly what we offer. Uh, number two is we need to have the right ads and, and the, send this traffic to the right landing page. And by right ads, I mean you're, you're trying to disqualify. And that's really what you want to do in your ad copy. You want to call out and list some benefits of why should your ideal prospects want to work with you. A great way to do this is to go on to Yelp, look at reviews, and you can actually see what people are saying about a particular company, what they like, what they dislike. And so find the things that they don't like and find the things that they like and use that for inspiration in your ads. And you can do the same thing with your landing pages. Now, it's very important that when someone clicks on your ad and they go to the landing page, those things should match. And it should really match what they're searching for, right? Because if someone searches for, let's say, uh, let's say you're a limo company and they search for a party bus rental, right? And your ad talks about that, but they go to your landing page and your landing page is just the home page of your site and you've got every potential service you, you offer on there, which might include party buses, but that's not the main focus of the page. Uh, you're not going to convert as well as if you send them to a page that's just about party bus rentals, right? And so it's very important that our ads and our landing pages match what the, the person was searching for and, and who they are. And then finally, and this is actually, these two are, I, I should say relatively easy to get right, especially if you're working with the right agency. This is where I've seen the most, um, the most problems with, with most small businesses. Uh, and I don't care if you're in home services, I don't care if you're a home inspector or you're a roofing company. Um, for most smaller businesses, the reason why they never get to seven figures is even if they figure out the leads, they never figure out how to convert those leads and how to convert them at scale. And so what I mean by that is this, 
So let's say you're a, a limo company and you get a lead for someone looking um, to rent a, a, a stretch limo or a limo sprinter for, for a few hours on, on a Friday night. Um, so they request a quote on your website, right? You've got a, let's say a one-step form or a live chat. So they request a quote and you take 30 minutes to send them their quote and you send them a quote via email and that's it. I guarantee you, you're not going to close very many jobs if that's what you're doing. No, what your follow-up should look like is immediately getting in touch with them, getting them exactly what they're looking for, which is usually pricing, but they might have other questions as well. Starting that dialogue, that's the key. You need to initiate that dialogue. And my favorite way to do that right now is through SMS because people, they get the text messages right away and typically people respond to text messages much, much quicker than they respond to emails. So initiating that conversation right away. And then once you give them the quote, if they don't decide to move forward with you, you need to have follow up in place. And, and really what I recommend is you automate that piece. And I would automate it through SMS messaging. That way you do, the, you do your quote, they don't move forward. You can just forget all about it. You don't have to think about, oh, I've got these five follow-ups I have to do later in the day. No, you wanna get that off your plate and you wanna have that automated. And so if you follow up quickly, initiate a conversation right away, get them what they're looking for. And then if they don't convert right there, if they don't buy right there, then we want to be following up with them via text messages and even via um, automated emails just because not everyone is going to give you a cell number. Most people will, but some people still use landlines and an SMS follow-up wouldn't work. Now this is the piece that I would say 90, 95% of small businesses leave out. So you just spent all this money getting someone to your website or your landing page and you're not retargeting them on Facebook, on the Google Display Network, on YouTube, on Gmail, on Pinterest, on LinkedIn. You can retarget them everywhere they go. And if you're paying the money to get them to your site for the, in the first place, you need to be retargeting them because it's like a tenth of the cost or less to follow them around with your ads. And I'm not saying overdo it. You wanna set certain settings so that you don't overdo it and over spam them but you do want them to see you everywhere, especially in the beginning, because for most of you, your customer is going to make a decision right away. If you are a limo company that focuses on airport transportation, typically that person's gonna make a decision in a few hours. Um, now, if you focus on weddings, it might take longer, right? So you might wanna retarget for a couple weeks. So depending on your business and your sales cycle, some need to be more aggressive than others, but everyone should be doing it. Whether they convert and call you and get a quote or they don't convert, we want to be retargeting everyone. And it's even better if they convert, you give them a quote, and not only are they going to get that automated text follow-up from you, but they're also going to see your business everywhere they go online, so they can't forget about you. And that's the way you stay top of mind with everyone in your market. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, no matter what sort of small business you run, um, give paid search advertising a shot. When done right, it can just throw fuel on the fire and get you to seven figures. But remember, it's not just about getting the leads, it's about making sure you're following up right away giving them a quote, then following up after the quote, and then make sure you're retargeting them every single place you can, because this is going to be a very small percentage of the spend that this is, but the more they see your business, um, for some of you, the more they hear your voice, the more they trust you. And so really retargeting is the name of the game. Automating your follow-up via SMS is the name of the game <laughs> and paid search advertising can really explode your business. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about paid search basics. If you could, please subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna put up some videos right here 
I'd love for you to check out some other videos on the channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Give the video a like and let me know, are you doing paid search ads for your company? And if not, why not? Thanks guys.